welcome back to another new vlog. My name is Bailey. I am 25, married, new-ish homeowner, and I'm a fourth grade teacher on winter break. I took the holiday week off last week, especially with working right up until Christmas Eve. I was ready to rest and enjoy the holidays with my family. Today, I decided it would be fun to pick the camera back up and fill you in on what I've been up to. I, of course, did not love working that late up until December 22nd, but I'm super thankful now because I don't go back to school until January 8th. So I've had this full week to reset for the new year and get myself prepared to go back to school. I'm also super excited to share some projects that we've worked on around the house. Andrew and I have been busy installing some things that we just haven't found time to in the past couple of months and we were very thankful to also get some house things off of our wish list for Christmas. I'll insert some clips here but on New Year's Day we spent some time resetting the house after Christmas, putting everything away before Andrew went back to work yesterday. So let me take you around and quickly show you some of our new additions. Our room got a huge upgrade for Christmas. We got these nightstands were on our Christmas list. They're from Wayfair, so we got one for each side. We also got this bench to store some extra clothes in here. This was originally from Home Depot. I know that they were selling it on a few different sites, but the one that we got is sold out, I believe. I did link some similar on my like to know if you're interested, but this has already been so helpful. I filled it up with a bunch of my pants. Andrew and I went to Ikea and we ended up just leaving with a duvet. So we got this duvet. It's extra thick. And then we got some bedding from Target. So we got this duvet cover that has a little bit of texture to it. Oh, I forgot for Christmas too. We got some extra deep sheets because our mattress is super thick. We also got some silk pillowcases so we have those and then got these both of these from Target that were right with the duvet. We've had this little pillow since we got married that was from Altered State. They don't have this exact one anymore but they have a version of it for this year. So we're still looking a little plain in here. This is our furniture set from Pottery Barn. It's the Cayman wood. We have both of the dressers and then the bed is also the same thing. It's a platform bed. We have a piece picked out for over the bed, but we haven't gotten it yet. Still working on kind of what to do with this area. Maybe a mirror over here. Probably not anything over here. Then we have some windows. Maybe something to go between the windows. I don't know, but... I do know that we made a lot of progress and we're feeling really good about the room so far. This is our front door entryway. We've had this rug for a bit. It's from Rugs USA. I got this one because I thought it went along really well with the rug in our living room. We've also had the little hooks from Amazon already. This art piece is from Etsy. I've linked that on my like to know. For Christmas, we added in the two pillows. Both are from Target. Andrew got a Nespresso for Christmas and then this little stand to put it on. The machine did not fit under our cabinets, so we got this little cabinet over here to kind of create a little coffee bar in this corner. So, so far we just have the machine and that little stand, but put this together and then it has all of his coffee and tea stuff in it. That way it is all there together. And then this cabinet matches the one that's in our back hallway, which we love. And we have a lot of black accents in our kitchen, so happy to have this. We obviously need to decorate it a bit, but it's a good start. Floor mats are new. I believe they're from House of Noah. They have a lot of really cute products on their site. So we got two little kitchen floor mats. Andrew installed the deadbolt that we've had for a while that goes into the garage door. This was one of my Christmas presents for him. We have some pictures of us together over the years. I am obsessed with this. And this is kind of our back hallway area. We have the little cabinet that matches the new coffee bar. 
and a black mirror that ties in really well with the frames. Last thing for now, when we moved in, we swapped out all of the door handles for the matte black door handles from Amazon. We also purchased the hinges, but we had not swapped them out yet. So Andrew went through all of our doors and swapped out the hinges for black. They look so much better. Clearly we have been very busy over break trying to wrap up projects here and there. If you own a house, then you know that that list will probably probably just never end. We do have two projects that we know we're gonna try to get done this weekend. We got a pull-out trash system to install into our cabinets. That way we don't have a trash can sitting out here anymore. So I'm super excited about that project. And then Andrew is very excited about our gym project. Downstairs we have a home gym. We just have a treadmill, some free weights down there, but we ordered some gym flooring that is probably coming today, but definitely by tomorrow. So we'll put that down. And then we also got a mount to mount our TV down there. That way we can watch that or listen to something Thing while we're working out. So I am excited for that as well. But those are the two things that we're definitely going to get done this weekend. We also have some bigger projects in the works probably over the next couple of weeks, maybe even months. We have some cabinets on the way again for over here, this big empty wall. We are going to install some cabinets there. And then we're also starting a pretty big project. We are doing some built-ins in the living room. We're gonna have, um, we actually have a fireplace on the way that we order, just an electric fireplace that we're going to put in there. We're gonna mount the TV up. We have cabinets that we are going to put on either side and then some open shelving on the top. That project is obviously going to take a little bit, but it's definitely something that we're looking forward to. As fun as all of that is, especially doing it with Andrew, I have taken a lot of time to myself over break to refocus on my personal health and wellness, putting some effort into a new hobby. I got a Kindle Paperwhite for Christmas and I'm super excited about this. I think I've read like six books so far since I got it. I'll put them up here so you can see the types of books I've been reading, but this is something that I used to love. I used to be a huge reader. Unfortunately, I just kind of let life get in the way of that and I haven't really enjoyed reading in a few years but I'm very hopeful with the Kindle that I'll be re-motivated to tap into that side of me and I'm really excited about it. And of course if you have any recommendations I'm all ears. I do have three months of the Kindle Unlimited subscription with the purchase of the Kindle. I have been kind of getting my books from there for now while I have it at least. I don't know if that's something that I will continue renewing but I'm definitely finding a lot of books on there that I'm enjoying so we'll just see um, how I feel when it's time to renew but if you have any recommendations Kindle Unlimited or not I am definitely interested in hearing them. I'm gonna go read for a bit this is something that I'm working on putting some more effort towards in the new year but we can chat about that later. chat about 2024. I am definitely a new year reflect, reset, goal-oriented type of person. I usually get really excited about taking a peek back at the year that's passed and looking forward into setting some intentions for the year to come. But to be honest, this year just feels a little bit different. I feel this overwhelming need to kind of slow things down a little bit. I have decided to take a super slow start into setting intentions for the new year, and I figured that I would share some of those things here with you today. 
The first thing I really want to solidify are some routines. I am definitely a routine person, morning routines, night routines, even weekly routines that I want to make sure that I have down. I want to get into routines that I feel good about and I always personally feel better when I am in a routine. I think that I've done a really good job at school this year getting into a routine of lesson planning and copying and grading just when I get those things done throughout the week and making sure that I have productive plan times every day before school, during school, to the point where I don't really stay after school anymore. And when I come outside of my hours, I'm really working on social media things. So I'm feeling really good about those routines. I think that especially over break, it's been so nice to be able to drink water whenever I want and work out whenever I want. So I wanna make sure that going back to school, I am in good routines with doing those things. That way I can just continue to feel good about myself and the things that I am getting done. I think that slowing down in general is something that I don't really like to do. I'm definitely the type of person that wants to be busy all the time, working all the time, getting things done. So I think that it's going to be important for me to set those routines of making sure that I get what I need to get done, but then also knowing that when I do get those things done, it's okay for me to rest and not feel guilty about resting. So that's definitely something that I want to work on this year, and I think that setting those routines will be helpful in not feeling so guilty about taking a rest day or just not being so busy all the time. I also want to make sure that I'm continuing to get in daily movement. Every morning when I wake up, I go on to my treadmill for about 30 minutes and do some incline walking. I'm just fueling my body with things that make me feel good, including water. That's definitely something that I need to increase my water intake. And I think that, again, getting in a routine with that is best because I am a teacher and I can only go to the bathroom at a certain times. So getting into a routine where I know I can drink water is something that I want to focus on. And the last thing is just personal hobbies. Again, working out, taking that time to unplug from my phone and focus on my workout, maybe even watching a show while I'm on the treadmill. Usually I am on Instagram or responding to emails. I think that that would be a really good opportunity for me to unplug from that. Like I said earlier, we're also setting up a TV downstairs in our gym. I think taking that time to maybe watch a YouTube video or a show that I want to watch is going to be good for me. And reading. I'm really excited about my reading journey and kind of bringing that into the new year with me. I don't really feel like I have a good judge of how many books I want to read this year, putting a number on that yet, but I think it's just something that I want to solidify into my nighttime routine before going to bed, just to kind of calm down and get off of my phone and just focus on enjoying a book. We are going to my parents tonight for dinner, so I'm going to pause the vlog here. I think tomorrow I'm gonna spend some time preparing myself to go back to school, so I will see you then. Happy Friday, it is four o'clock right now. I was able to get in a really good workout this morning. Just kind of spent the day relaxing, reading, enjoying my last day of break. I also was able to upload a few things to TPT and starting to work more on that into the new year as well. Posted it on Instagram, but I figured I would come on here and talk about Going back to school, today's last day of break. Before we went on break, I made sure that I finalized all of my lesson plans and copies for next week. So I made sure that I wouldn't have to work over break. I did bring home a little bit of grading to do over break, but honestly never felt the need to get it out. I think at this point that's just going to stay in the bag for the weekend. I did bring it home because when we go back, we have a couple weeks to finalize grades before report cards go out. We have a lot of assessments that we need to make sure that we get done. And in the grade book, writing report card comments and all of that. So I know that I'm gonna be busy when I go back, but aren't we always? So I think I'm just going to enjoy the last little bit of my break and leave that in my bag. I have mixed feelings about going back to school. Of course, I'm really excited to see my kids and hear all about their breaks, but I have been 
really enjoying, obviously, time to rest and relax and be in my house and with my husband and family. A little nervous to get back to all of the busyness of school, especially with report cards coming up. But I'm trying not to let those thoughts creep in too much and enjoy this last weekend, making sure, again, like I was talking about yesterday, that I have some really good routines that I'm settled in before I go back to hopefully make it a little bit easier. Like I said, I'm really excited to see my kids and of course my coworkers that I love so much and I have missed. I did have somebody ask me on Instagram to share my first day back routines and plans, so I figured that especially with feeling a little uneasy about going back, that it may be good for me to touch base with the things that I had planned for Monday before I go into school. I do try to keep things pretty simple and in routine, especially going back, making sure that we're focusing on our expectations and reminders. So right away in the morning, we actually go off to our co-curricular, our specials. But when we come back from that, we're going to have a class meeting where I'm going to talk about a rules refresh. This is something that I've done the past couple of years, reminding them how we do everything, what it all looks like, sounds like, feels like, explicitly reteaching all of our routines Routines throughout the day as they come up so we'll have a little chat about that in the morning and then I do have some math I have a 2024 math worksheet our next unit is all about addition and subtraction so we just wrapped up place value I'm pretty sure this unit is where we talk about rounding which of course we're talking about place value with that too so the worksheet kind of covers those things and then I can get a good idea of where they're at coming back into our learning. And I was thinking that if we finished with the worksheet that we would have some time for Bottle or Prodigy. I haven't started on those yet with this class but I know that they are going to love that when I do so I think that I might do that as one of our pick one options too. Then we have writing. Of course, I'm gonna be revisiting our writing workshop expectations, and we're gonna talk about goal setting for 2024, especially with coming back from break, getting back into learning mode. We have our report cards coming soon, so I want to touch base on what they would like to actively be working on. I think it'll be interesting to talk about some things they wanna work on, some goals they have for themselves in the classroom, and then out of the the classroom as well will be a good conversation starter. And then I teach science three times. So we are departmentalized and I teach science. We're starting our new unit and it's all about energy. We're going to look at a Rube Goldberg machine and do a see, think, wonder. And they always love that little video. I'm excited to show that. And of course, we'll talk about some expectations, revisit them as they're coming in for science. And then the last thing that I teach is reading. Oh, I forgot read aloud. Read aloud is in there too. I think I'm going to read the book What Do You Do With a Chance and that goes along really well with goal setting. I'll have to look into that again. For reading we're going to revisit our workshop expectations as well. I'm going to help any readers that finished up their books over break and need to get into some new books. I'm going to do observations, potentially some assessments get started on that. I do like to, like I said, keep things in routine as much as possible. I think that's important. The other thing that I'm going to make sure I do next week is my 2024 more or less anchor chart. I posted that on Instagram and I did it last year too. We are going to talk as a class things that we would like to do more of in 2024 and then things that we would like to have less of in 2024. I'm going to lead a classroom discussion on that and then I'm going to give them a little printed out copy and they can do their own reflections, their own version of it as well. We're going to start our new math unit, reading unit, and writing unit this week, as well as the science that we're going to start right away on Monday. We're going to be doing persuasive writing, which is my favorite writing unit. And then we have interpretive and analytic reading that we're starting, jumping right into things, and of course, reinforcing expectations all throughout the way. I do have uh, my jar, my reward jar for 
classroom expectations that I think that I'm going to be introducing again this week. In fact, I think I put it in my plans. Oh, next week. I'm going to do that. Okay, so it looks like we'll get back into that next week. That makes sense because the rules refresh is a paper where if they do it, then we can take off pieces and then underneath there is a reward. By the time, hopefully, by the end of the week, we'll have that completely cleared and then next week we'll start off with our reward jar. Looking ahead to that next week, we have Monday off and then we have two half days. Thursday and Friday, but then that Friday the 19th, all grades are due. We're gonna be busy, like I said, when we go back, but it does feel good to kind of revisit that, be reminded of what I have in store for going back to school. I also made sure that before I left, my classroom was fully reset. I reset my whiteboard, my bookshelf, my number corner, uh, like I said, lesson plans and copies are all done, so that helps ease me into going back and getting back into those routines. I think that's really all I have to say about that, about going back. Unfortunately, the gym stuff did not come, the flooring and the mount and all of that yesterday or today, so I'm a little disappointed in that, but still hopeful that we'll get it this weekend. That way we can get those two projects done. I was going to try to install the trash can by myself but I still don't know if that's such a good idea when I can wait for Andrew to help over the weekend. I don't think I'll be bored enough to try that. The other thing I wanted to do before we go back to school is to plan out my outfits for the week ahead on the weekend. That way it makes mornings a little bit easier during the week. So I want to make sure that I do that at some point this weekend. For now, I think I'm just going to get back into my book, enjoy a little bit more reading, and I'll check in with you guys over the weekend. <laughs> are officially done and I'm ready to soak up the last little bit of break that I have left so I'm going to end this vlog off here. I'm still mixed emotions about going back but I'm ready for it. I hope that you have a great week ahead, especially if you're on the same schedule as me. I hope that you enjoy reconnecting with your class and your school family. I will be vlogging this week, getting back into routines and things, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that next Sunday. I will see you then, and thank you for being here.